A few days ago, I was doing a regular ILS approach in the 777-200ER to KSFO's 28 right runway, when I spotted this on the cockpit displays. Rollout and flare? Does that mean that... Hmm. So I decided to keep on the autopilot until touchdown to see what happened. So I applied my flaps correctly, brought the landing gear down, etc. etc. Actually autopilot controlled ILS approaches are pretty boring. Anyway, the plane descended well as usual. And the plane's voice started counting down. Nothing special. But now watch. 50, 30, 20. This really surprised me at first. Not that I would ever underestimate the developer's work, but th does that mean that we can all just sit back and relax on approach? No, not really. There are a few things to keep in mind here. First of all, if you look at this flare, it's not perfect. I don't know if this is happening because this is still in development or not, but it seems that the plane tends to overflare quite a bit. The actual touchdown a few moments later is nice, but with a lot of practice I'm sure you could eventually do a better job. By the way, this system won't work for every ILS equipped runway. I think it will only work for category 3 ILS, but correct me if I'm wrong on that. But let's not be too negative about this system yet, because I did some more tests. Here's a nice one, crosswind landings. These crosswinds were 20 knots, coming in from a perfect 90 degree angle. Let's see how the autopilot handles this. The approach looks nice, just like any other ILS crosswind landing. But look at this. As soon as the plane touches down, it aligns itself to the runway as it should. The touchdown itself was pretty decent for this type of crosswind landing, and I doubt if I would have done a much better job. Here are a few tips to make the automatic landings better. Decrease engine power when the guy shouts out the last numbers. Set the auto brake so you don't have to worry about any wheel braking. And on long runways, just start bringing back the engine power right before touchdown and don't use the reversers or not for long. I hope you enjoy doing nothing, or, well maybe you have to do something, but not much. And I hope to see you again soon for a new flight gear video.